Hi everyone, welcome to Math 148 Calculus 3 Ubiquitous Online Experience. So in today's video, na I will discuss about the Module 1 Study Guide and Course Outcomes. At the end of this module, now you should be able to express mathematical expression in terms of its equivalent power series and identify the region where it converge. So you will learn how to deal with sequences, infinite series, and power series. Okay, the next slide shows the module 1 study guide. So this consists of three components. You have the topics, the teaching learning activities, and the assessment tasks. For week 1, day 1, the discussion covers topics on orientation on university mission vision, course requirements, and house rules. For the teaching learning uh, activities, we have the micro video lectures on university policies and course orientation. For week 1, day 2, the discussion covers topics on sequences such as the definition and finding the general or the end term of the sequence we have the limit of sequences monotone sequences and bounded sequences for week one day three we include topics such as uh, infinite series and it's a uh, special types such as the geometric series the telescoping sums harmonic series and the hyperharmonic or p series the teaching and learning activities for day two and day three includes the micro video lectures reading links and solve problems the assessment tasks assigned uh, in this uh, week is homework number 1A, which covers uh, the topics on sequences and infinite series in Wiley Plus. For week 2, day 1, the discussion covers topics on tests for convergence. Uh, under this, we have the divergence on n-term tests. We have the integral test, the comparison test, and the limit comparison test. For week 2, day 2, we include the topics on ratio test and root test, and also alternating series test. For day 3, the discussion covers topics on absolute convergence, ratio test for absolute convergence, and conditional convergence. The teaching and learning activities uh, under this uh, week, are the micro video lectures reading links and solve problems then the assigned assessment task is homework number 1b which covers topics on test for convergence alternating series absolute convergence ratio test for absolute convergence and conditional convergence in wiley plus Okay, in week 3, day 1, the discussion covers topics on power series. So, this includes Maclaurin polynomials, Taylor polynomials, sigma notation, Maclaurin series, and Taylor series. For week 3, day 2, the discussion covers topics on power series such as the convergence set or interval of convergence, the radius of convergence, the binomial series, and uh, differentiating and integrating power series. On day three, you have to take the diagnostic exam. The assess the teaching and learning activities uh, under this uh, week are the micro video lectures, reading links, and solve problems. The assigned assessment task is problem set number one, which includes uh, topics on power series, binomial series. Differentiating and integrating power series in web assign and the diagnostic exam is through Cardinal Edge. Okay, for week four, day one, we include the MATLAB integration. The teaching and learning activities on this uh, topic includes the micro video lectures and reading links. For day two, you have to take the module long examination. So, this, uh, you will be reminded of the due date of the different uh, activities for Module 1, such as the problem set number 1, homework number 1A, and homework number 1B. Okay, D3 is allotted for uh, grade verification. Okay, the Module 1 is uh, computed uh, using 
the following uh, following assessment tasks. So we have the diagnostic exam, the problem set one, homework number one, and the uh, module long examination number one. Okay, the, the corresponding weight for diagnostic exam is 10% for problem set 30%, for homework number one is 30%, and for the module long examination number one is 30%, so total of 100%. The minimum average for satisfactory performance is uh, 70% not to pass this uh, module. Then the equivalent uh, weighted average for the module are, is written below. If your grade uh, falls, let's say, for example, between 76 to 79.99, then your corresponding grade is 2.5. But if your grade falls under this uh, range 90 to 92.99 then your corresponding grade is 1.5 okay so that's all for uh, this uh, discussion thank you Hello.